When you throw away the pineapple peels, you throw away a lot of vitamins, antioxidants and a natural help for digestion and a portion of food that makes your bones strong. Surely you can't munch all the pineapple peels, but there is a great way to enjoy its benefits. Today we will learn how to make tepachi, the refreshing Mexican fermented pineapple drink made from pineapple leftovers with sugar and optionally some spices. It is a refreshing drink that can be enjoyed on its own or used as a base for your summer cocktails. My name is Srikant Singh and welcome to our channel Happy Belly Fish. Making tepachi is really simple but it is not just another sugary drink. The pineapple peels that are usually considered as a food waste contains a lot of minerals and vitamins. While many fruits can be eaten with their skin, pineapple peels cannot be eaten as it is. Moreover, this drink is fermented which acts as an excellent source of probiotics. To make tepachi, you will need one ripe pineapple, one cup of piloncillo or brown sugar, two cinnamon sticks, which is roughly the size of your finger, one teaspoon of cloves, four cups of water, a large mixing bowl or a jar or a pitcher in which you will make the tepachi, a piece of cloth or a cheesecloth to cover the ferment. And if you do not have spices, you can still make this tepachi and it will taste just as great. And here is how you make it. So the first step is to cut the pineapple. Begin by cutting off the top and the bottom of the pineapple. Next cut off the skin of the pineapple and make sure you remove all the eyes like how I am doing. A few people struggle to cut pineapple which is why I am showing how I do it. Removing this prickly thorns that you have which is also called as eyes is necessary otherwise they will give you a sore throat and may even get stuck between your teeth and it's quite an unpleasant experience. Now cut the pineapple into half and remove the core. The core is hard to eat and it's not as juicy and if you have a weak digestion then you must avoid eating this core. In some recipes tepachi is made with the entire pineapple but in this recipe, I am going to use just the peels and the core of it. Now you can cut the juicy part of the pineapple into small pieces and set aside to eat later. Here I have the pineapple pieces that I will eat and here are the peels and you can see how much they are. You must have a good sharp knife when cutting the pineapple and that makes the job very easy. The second step is to make the tepachi base. So in a large cup, combine two cups of water with one cup of piloncillo or jaggery. Stir until the sugar is dissolved. Now those who are wondering what this brown block of thing is, it is a raw form of pure cane sugar that is unrefined. Piloncio or jaggery is not an ordinary refined sugar. It is packed with a lot of minerals and vitamins and in most people who are not diabetic, this does more good than harm. Now that the preparation is over, let's move on to the third step. Add the pineapple peels to a large bowl and if you don't have a bowl, like I said before, you can even use a jar, but do not use metallic containers for fermentation. Now add the tepachi base or the sugar syrup that you have just made. And now it is up to you. If you wish, you can add some cinnamon and a teaspoon of cloves. If you do not have spices, don't worry, you can still make it. Now add two more cups of water or more, but the point here is that you need to make sure that the peels are fully submerged in the tepachi base. Cover the jar with a piece of cloth or cheesecloth and secure it. You can even use a rubber band or thread to do it. This will allow the tepachi to breathe while keeping out any debris or insects. So in these three steps, you have come so far to actually making the tepachi, but you have to wait a little while. And that's your step four, fermentation. So leave the jar at room temperature for 24 to 48 hours. During this time, the tepachi will start to ferment. And you will notice that the bubbles are forming and the liquid will become a little cloudy on the top. The longer you leave the tepachi to ferment, the stronger the flavor will be. So taste the tepachi after 24 hours to see if it has reached your desired level of sweetness and fermentation. If it is not sweet enough, you can also add more sugar at this point. And while it ferments and you're waiting in anticipation of this lovely drink, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. When you are satisfied with the level of fermentation that this drink has reached, then you move on to the step five, which is to strain and chill this drink. Remove the cloth or this cheesecloth that is covering this bowl and pour the liquid through a strainer into a clean pitcher or jar. Discard the pineapple pieces and spices. You do not want this fermentation to go on at room temperature forever. Chill the tepachi in refrigerator and this should easily last for about three days. 
And I think it's so delicious that it might actually be over before you even notice it. Serve the tepachi in beautiful glasses over rice. You can also garnish this tepachi with a slice of fresh pineapple or with a slice of lemon or even some pieces of ginger. And to add some extra flavor and kick, you can also add some chili flakes. Tepachi is a refreshing and a unique drink that is perfect for warm weather or any time when you want or you are missing the taste of Mexico. This drink is excellent, especially during hot summers when we crave something that is cold and refreshing. It is also nutritious, a drink that kids will enjoy a lot. And what I love about this drink the most is that it saves a lot of that portion of food that would have otherwise gone to waste. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed learning about this refreshing Mexican drink and will try it at home. And yes, don't forget to like and subscribe for more delicious recipes.